Hello, my name is Kamu and I'll be talking about Chapter 5 of Bridge to Derbidia. Maybelle, Jessie's younger sister, was very young so she was not a good learner. Jessie's dad had brought Maybelle a package of Twinkies from Washington and the next day at school, she screamed and boasted about her Twinkies on the school bus. Jess noticed a 7th grade girl named Janice Avery staring at Mabel from the back seat of the bus. Then, Jess warned his little sister about Janice Avery, but she didn't care. Janice Avery is one of the girls who scares and bullies first and second graders. For example, she and her two friends, Wilma Dean and Bobby Shu Henshaw, would stand outside the girls' room and they would make the little girls give over their mi milk money before the little, little girls went to the restroom. At lunch, Jessie and Leslie saw Maybelle screaming because Janice had stolen Maybelle's Twinkies. Janice Avery is a bully because she makes the children in first and second graders cry and steals their money. To help Maybelle take revenge on Janice, Jessie and Leslie talked about pranks to play on Janice. Finally, Leslie asked who Janice liked. Jessie answered that every girl in 7th grade likes a boy named Willier Hughes. Hughes. So Jess and Leslie wrote a letter to Janice pretending it was from Willier. They wrote that Willier loves Janice and told her to meet him after school. It also said to not worry about leaving the bus and not, to not tell anybody. In Terabithia, where Jessie and Leslie wrote the letter, Leslie spoke the words and Jessie wrote what she said. The difficult part of putting the letter in Janice's desk was when Leslie had to try to convince Mrs. Pierce, the seventh grade teacher, to visit a bird nest with Leslie. At that time, Jessie had a thought that he and Leslie were going to Mr. Turner's office, who was the principal of the school. The next day in Lark Creek, at recess time, Jess put the letter in Janice's desk while Leslie and Miss Leslie and Mrs. Pierce visited a nest on the south end of Lark Creek School. The next day, on the school bus, Janice's face was full of anger and she did not want to talk to anyone. Maybelle, with the help of Jessie and Leslie, got her revenge. Mwahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah